Hey everyone and welcome to Aaron's Dollhouse. So today, um, as you can see, we are going to be talking about the live action um, Disney Cinderella movies. So um, this is my shelf that is literally filled with all of my Lily James Cinderella dolls. Um, the Cinderella live action movie is definitely um, my favorite live action adaptation of a Disney princess movie. <clears throat> um, come right up there with uh, the live action Little Mermaid. That one is another favorite of mine. <clears throat> but yeah, I just think that there's just something so beautiful and so whimsical about the live action version of Cinderella. I know for a lot of people, a lot of people are just like, we've already had like a million Cinderella movies. This is true. But there is just something so beautiful, so whimsical, and of course, when the movie came out, they came out with a collection of dolls, and the dolls are absolutely gorgeous. They are spot on. They did such a great job with them, and today that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to take a look at each one of them on my shelf and just talk about how beautiful they are. So yeah. Well, let's get started. <laughs> so starting off, we are going to start here at the bottom of the shelf. Um, for those of you who don't know this character, this is basically their version of Prince Charming, or as he is known in the movie as Kit. And wow, his face sculpt is very, very nice. Like they did such a good job on him. It it almost looks it's almost creepy because of how realistic it is, but I I personally think they did such a good job on his face sculpt. And as you can see with his outfit, there are so many different components. He's got, you know, this kind of like sash kind of thing with like these different pieces on it. Um he's got little gold buttons going all the way down. All of this beautiful embroidered detail, even going around the collar. Um, and then he's got, I, I forgot what these are called, but they're found on like a lot of like Prince outfits. But he has those, and those are done in like a molded plastic. Um, he does not have rooted hair, but the hair is molded pretty nice, so I can deal, I can be, you know. I can be okay with that. Um, and then he is only articulated at the elbow. Um, I don't think he's articulated at the knee. Yeah, no. And then he is not articulated at the wrist. Um, but also you can see uh, there is more of that beautiful embroidery on the cuffs. Um, they even put belt loops, which is cool. And then he has very nice uh, fabric pants. And they have, on both sides, a gold stripe going down them. And then also, as you can see, the jacket, it does have kind of like drape to the back a little bit like that, which is really fun. And then... He has um, plastic boots, which these are actually really nice. Um, I think, I don't know if these were like a new mold or whatever for the shoes, but they're definitely really nice. They're a lot different than like the standard like Prince boots we usually see on like the uh, male dolls. And then making our way up here, we have the beautiful Helen Bottom Carter. And oh my gosh, look at her face. They did such a phenomenal job on her face. Like, excuse me? She is so gorgeous. And I love how they have these tiny little curls in her hair, just like her hair is in the movie. And it's like a platinum blonde. She also has this very beautiful large collar that's like going up behind her head 
And then she does have these molded plastic iridescent fairy wings, which are also very pretty. And then there's just so much detail on this collar as well. Like, oh my goodness. And then they have this little piece right here, like with this iridescent um, see-through material. And then as you can see, she has all these beautiful details of like swirls and stars with little gems. And then this very interesting um, fabric that I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it kind of has a very interesting pattern to it, kind of just like zigzagging all across each other. And then she has this very pretty um, molded plastic wand to look like the one that she's using in the movie. And then as you can see, she does have like the standard like articulation that most Disney store dolls have. Um, and then she also has the flared out sleeves at the bottom, which is really fun. Um, and then these are two separate pieces. Um, it doesn't look like it, but interestingly enough, this is attached to this and it's separate from this, but then they sewed it to this. So there's a lot happening. <laughs> um, but it is this beautiful, gorgeous, iridescent fabric. Like I love it so much. And as you can see, it does train all the way in the back which we always love to see a nice train, especially on a ball gown skirt. But yeah, no, I think they did such a beautiful job on Helen Bonner, Bonham Carter's um, fairy godmother doll. She is so pretty. All right, so next on our list is the 12 inch sized, um, Lily James doll of her in her ball gown. Now, for those of you who have collected the dolls from this series, you might realize that this is not actually the ball gown that she originally came in, which is fine. Um, so basically, uh, they came out with the Lily James doll from the Disney store. And then they also came out with the Mattel version. Well, the Mattel version was wearing this dress. So that <laughs> that's the dress that I actually have her in. Um, I do still have her original dress, but I always kind of had like a problem with the skirt on the original dress. I don't know. I just, I felt like it needed to be bigger, especially cause it was like, you know, really big in the movie. And with the Mattel version, they did a much better job with the skirt, in my opinion. So, that's why she's wearing this one. Don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't care. It's it's my doll, so I can do what I want with her. But I love this dress so much. Um, and then what is interesting is the... The Disney Store version, like what she was wearing before, um, it did not have like all of these like butterflies, like all this butterfly detailing all over the skirt. So um, the Mattel version, they definitely took a lot of creative liberties with this because I think they were basically kind of trying to create this is in the moment, like when she had the dress transformation like happening. So. I think that's really cool, and I was going to say, she has such a beautiful face. I think they did a really good job. Um, she also has a tiny little braid in her hair, and then her hair is styled in these beautiful curls. And then, as you can see, um, they have like this kind of material. And that's what's forming on top here. And then it's also on the sleeves. And then there are these colorful sparkly butterflies on each of the sleeves. And the thing that I just love about this version of Cinderella's dress um, that they did for the live action is that 
it is like these blues what mixed with kind of like a purple and it just kind of creates this kind of iridescent vibe and yes as you can see um the skirt is very large it does take up the entire shelf as it should um there is two layers to the skirt there's this layer uh the layer underneath and then um, there is a petticoat underneath there or crinoline as you would call it uh, to keep the dress nice and poofy and yes it does it does poof all the way out in the back as well so yeah and then making our way up we have lily james in her wedding dress and wow just wow um so she actually came with um kit down there at the bottom they were part of like a set um basically you know creating like the wedding scene and oh my god they did such an amazing job on her like i love this beautiful flower crown that she has in her hair and then she has this beautiful bun with many beautiful curls. And then again, you know, same face as the last one. Her face is so beautiful that I just, it looks so much like her. And then she has these pretty dangly earrings. And then also this veil. Like, can we just talk about this veil? The veil is actually like, it actually goes like off the shelf a little bit. It's so long. And she also has a very like long skirt that trains all the way back as well. And yeah, I, I just, I love all the printed detail of the flowers and everything. And there's kind of like a gold shimmer to it as well. So pretty. And also, this is a cute little detail. Um, she does have her wedding ring on, which is really pretty. Um, and then this top, I love that they did kind of did like the one shoulder with this fabric. And then the rest of it is like the see-through fabric that makes up the sleeves. And then there's also some little gems inside the flowers. So very nice, very nice. I mean, I, I just, I, I don't have anything bad to say about this doll. Like, she's so, so gorgeous. And then we have now made our way to the last one. And this is the 17-inch limited edition Lily James Disney Store doll. And she was limited edition of 4,000. The number that I got was 788 was the number for my doll out of 4,000. So I got a very low number and I'm very happy about it. Um, and wow, <laughs> just, just wow. Obviously, you know, she's the bigger version of this doll here, but there are so many added extra details. Like, her hair is obviously longer and d done in these beautiful curls. Um, this material here it is this very soft, um, what I think it's called organza or something like that. I'm not really sure, but, and then there's these molded plastic butterflies like all over. And there's like just so many of them with like little gems in between so pretty and then she does have rooted eyelashes which are always really nice um she does have gems kind of going throughout her hair which is kind of like how it was in the movie um and then she has like a bunch of like sparkle on her chest which again was how it was in the movie um and then this very beautiful like iridescent material um the dress is two pieces so the top and the skirt are separate um and then oh my gosh this skirt it's it's so big it is just so full and then there are so many layers to it so there is this first layer here on top 
Then there's another layer underneath. Then there's this layer here. This layer here. And then there is crinoline underneath to keep its shape. And also, there are her beautiful glass slippers with the gold butterflies on it. So, yeah. They did such a good job with the limited edition doll. It's just, oh my gosh. I love her so much. Um, yeah, I don't have anything bad to say. Not at all. She is just so beautiful. But I do really hope that um, you did enjoy uh, that shelf tour. Um, looking at all of my beautiful Lily James Cinderella dolls from the Disney live action Cinderella movie. Um, I think she is such a beautiful actress and I think that they captured her so beautifully in doll form and the dolls themselves are just, they're so whimsical, they're so pretty and I don't know, there's just something about them that I never was the hugest like Cinderella fan. Like, you know, I respect her as a character, but I was never like a huge fan of hers really until I actually saw the live action version. Um, because there's just something about it. I don't know. It made me respect the character a little bit more, but I think it's also because it went a little bit deeper into her backstory. So, but yeah, other than that, um, I really do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Um, if you did, definitely give it a like. Um, if you want to see any more fun doll related content on my channel, um, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Um, but other than that, uh, if any of you guys have any of these dolls or, um, if you, if you have specific ones that you like or anything from this video, uh, definitely share about it in the comments. But other than that, you guys have a great rest of your night. Bye.